If you're a Mac user or if you support Mac users, or maybe you're like myself and you have a classroom environment where some students will come in with Apple hardware running Mac OS, some students will come in with PC-based hardware running Windows, or even some students will come in with Linux, and that's increasing, which is very cool, and I'll talk about that a little bit in this video, but we'll have that Mac versus PC type of scenario in many cases. And even though Mac OS X has been out for 20 plus years, years and it's evolved quite a bit and it can do many many of the things that a PC can do there's always a few holdouts and a few programs that will only run on a Windows environment but we need them to do things for example data analysis mathematics uh, some different type of design programs and even video games if, if you want to be quite honest so the idea is that I want to be able to run those Windows programs on my Mac and we can do that. We've been able to do that for some time using tools such as Parallels. Well, the latest version of Parallels, Parallels 19, and the, in combination with the Apple M1, M2 silicon, it's fantastic. Like you can really do some things on your Mac that you don't suffer any degradation of performance. It performs exceptionally well. You can do things like integrate the trackpad and the touch ID. There's things like graphic libraries are vastly improved. It works with the new Mac operating system. There's a lot, it's a dock. There's some technical stuff. For example, you can, if you're managing those virtual machines, uh, Intune works well with the Parallels machine. You can do things like Docker. So there's a lot you can do by running the Windows environment. Plus with Parallels 19, one of my favorite kind of features that's added into the, the professional suite is that you have the ability to connect back to your Mac through your iPad, through a, a PC, any device you can connect back and you can access your, your Mac as if you're sitting in front of it. So you have a lot of great benefits with, with Parallels 19 and it is something worth checking out if you're a Mac user and you need the access to those Windows programs. It's also a great learning platform for building sandboxes so I can actually virtualize a Mac that I can play around with, do programming, I can virtualize a Windows machine, I can even put Linux in there in various different distributions which have also been updated for, for Parallels 19 so it's really useful. When you first install Parallels and launch it, it'll ask you to install Windows, to download and install Windows. But you can choose different operating systems. We'll take a look at Linux in a moment. There's all sorts of different distributions of Linux and uh, you can even download and install a Mac virtual machine. We're going to install Windows, so it'll need to download and install Windows. We just click on the Install Windows button and it'll begin the process. It takes a while to download and verify the download. I've sped up the video and then it'll start the installation. It'll download all of the files. It'll take all of a few minutes to download and install and then you'll accept the license agreement. Installation will be complete and you'll actually have a working copy of Windows on your Mac. It does take a little longer than that. I sped up some parts of that video. It's just as easy to install Linux as well. We go into the command center, hit the plus sign, choose the distribution of Linux that we're interested in. Once we choose it, in my case, I'll choose Debian here. We'll go in, it'll, it'll go in, uh, go out to the internet. It'll download the installation that we want. It'll download the distribution. We select it, it takes a few moments to download it. Once it's downloaded, it'll just do an auto install. It'll ask me some questions, like it'll ask me to put a password in there. There'll be a few screens that will ask me to put in information about my region and so on. But then I'll have Debian Linux installed. I can go in and start using different applications as I like. As the famous quote goes, wait, there's more. I can use Parallels Access to use an iPhone to connect to my Mac remotely, as well as an iPad or even a Windows device, where I can actually come back and start working on my Mac with that remote device. Plus, with Parallels 19, I can install SQL Server. Very, very useful for data analytics. Check out this video where I'll show you how Parallels Access works, and this video where I show you how to install SQL Server on a Mac.